everybody, today I'm going to show you a quick way to make a clean render of chemical structures using Blender. In one of my previous videos I showed you how to import chemical structures with atomic bonds. And today I'm going to show you how to use this approach to make a clean, simple looking scene of chemical structures like the one shown here. And first we're going to load the Blender software, we're going to delete the default cube object, next we're going to file, import, and then PDB file, and then we're just going to browse to the PDB file that we created from the SIF file. What I want to do is keep the NURBS as the default mesh for the PDB file, but I do want to change the balls to about 0.6 size, and then make sure the bonds is selected, and then we're just going to adjust the radius down to 0.15. Next thing we're going to do is change the stick type from duplaverts to normal. And I also want to make sure that the one object is selected for sticks, so we don't have every stick coming in as a new object. So once all these parameters are set, let's go ahead and import our PDB file. Now you can see from our layout view that we can actually have balls as atoms, and we actually have the sticks as cylinders connecting the atoms. And if we browse over to the scene collection here, you can see for the PDB file that we just imported, all the atoms are imported as their own separate meshes, and all the sticks are imported as a single mesh. And next what we want to do is add materials to each of our individual atoms. So let's just start off by editing the oxygen material. So click on oxygen underscore ball, and then click use nodes. And then what we're going to do is go to our shading tab at the top. So you can see we have our default principal node here. Let's go ahead and set the metallic to 0 0.75. And then we're going to put our roughness at 0. And if we click on preview here, we can see that we get a nice metallic looking color for the oxygen atom. And this basic material is what I want all the atoms to look like. I just want them to have different colors. So they're rather going to each individual atom and editing these parameters. What I'm going to do is click on the atom that I'd like to edit, and then just scroll to the atom underscore ball, click use nodes, and then I'm going to select the atom that I just edited, and then I'm going to click this copy button here as a new material, and just rename this to nitrogen in this case. And then all I have to do now is click on the base color and just move this to a blue material, and you can see this automatically adjusts to the blue color for the nitrogen atoms in the scene. And I just want to repeat this process for all the individual atoms. So we're going to do this for fluorine as well, clicking on the fluorine underscore ball, click Use Nodes, and I'm just going to select the nitrogen that we just edited, click Copy, rename this to Fluorine now, and then just change the color to a green type color for Fluorine. I'm going to do the same for Carbon, I'm going to scroll to the Carbon underscore Ball, click that, click Use Nodes, and then just scroll to the Nitrogen Material, click Copy, and then I'm going to rename this as Carbon. Now I'm going to change the base color to a white in the middle, but I'm going to drag this down so that it's a nice dark color, black to gray color. And then finally for the hydrogen atoms, I don't want the hydrogens to be as shiny, so I'm going to scroll to the hydrogen underscore mesh, to the hydrogen ball. I'm going to click use node so that's actually using the principal node. But then I'm just going to change the roughness up to 0 0.75 so that we don't have a shiny material, but there is some roughness and diffuseness. Next, I want to make the sticks a glass color material. So let's click on our sticks mesh. Let's expand this to the actual mesh itself. Then we're going to click on material, use nodes. And now I just want to make this a glass color material. So what we want to do here is change the roughness to zero. Then we're going to make the transmission one, and that makes that a glass material. Then we're going to change the index of refraction to 1.1. So now if we take a look in our preview, we can see that the, we have a transparent material for the actual sticks themselves. One other thing that I forgot to mention is that for glass, the default isn't actually white. So what we want to do is drag the base color up all the way to white. So we get this nice clear white colored glass material. Next, let's go to the world scene by clicking on the world button here on our tab. Click on the color for the world and drag the world color all the way from this dark gray color all the way up to white. So finally, what we want to do is click on the rendering tab and just change our rendering engine from EV down to cycles. And then click on the layout tab and go back to our layout. Finally, what we want to do is set the camera angle for rendering our final image. So let's change the wireframe mode and drag select our camera here. Next, we're going to change the camera position by typing GY negative 4 GX3, and then GC3. Next, let's hide the camera and light, and then let's drag select our molecules so that we select all the atoms and sticks. Next, let's type RY, negative 50, and then RZ, 150. Next, let's unhide the light and camera, and then view cameras, and then active camera. So you can see we're just outside the camera frame a bit. 
So let's unselect the molecule, let's left click our camera, and then type GX, and then just drag the camera to the right a bit, and then GY to just really center the molecule in the middle of the camera. Great, now that we have our scene set up, we're ready to take a look at the render and see what it looks like. So let's click on the Output Properties tab, and let's change our resolution to 50%. Let's just scroll down, make sure that RGBA is selected, our color depth is 16, and our compression is 15. Click on render, and then render image. Great, our low resolution image finished rendering. Everything appears to be set up the way we want, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what a higher resolution image looks like. So let's change our percent resolution to 200, and then click render, and then render image. So now you can see we're rendering at a much higher resolution now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a pause and then come back when this is finished rendering. Okay, our high resolution image finished rendering, and it looks great. Very quickly, we're able to put together a scene of a PDB file where we have our atoms represented as metallic balls and our bonds represented as glass sticks. If you found this video useful, please click like and leave any questions you have in the comment sections below. Thanks!